I've got my hat on because I've been working in the garden and my hair is in absolute state. <laughs> right. I haven't had a shower, I'm just a mess. I've been um, all filling in the pond, yeah, yeah. dirt and all that. All right, hello everybody. Today we're in a hangar in Maryborough with Matt. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah. And Matt's come down to go flying. It's Easter. Now what happens at Easter? Well, in Australia, it rains, doesn't it? The weather's never good. Um, it, well, traditionally, there's always a chance it could be, but again, no, it's lived up to expectation. It's sunny now. Actually, I reckon we could go for a fly. It's, it's down, isn't it? We will go for a fly. We're going for a fly. I reckon we'll go for a fly. There'll be a shower through, probably four or five in the next hour, but anyway, I'm sure we can dodge those. Um, we might do that. Um, right, but we've just been talking. Matt has got his arrow-winged um, Tundra XT912 behind us, and you said you've got how many hours on your... On the trike, yeah, around about 40. So it's only a newcomer. Yeah, okay, but having fun. Having a great time, yeah. And you've been telling me that you used to fly something else in the past. Yeah, so I, uh, I got my RA licence uh, a few years ago, about five or six years ago. Um, probably did a couple hundred hours RA and then I did my PPL and got another couple hundred hours up in GA land. A couple of hundred hours. Yeah, so looking around 400 hours now total and, uh, and then discovered weight shift and it's... Yeah, it's great. So it's you were talking about that before, saying that the weight shift was just more affordable, GA is expensive. Absolutely. Yeah. But there was another element. And, very and affordable. And I was trying to dig that out of you. Because, very affordable, but it's fun. I mean, okay, so you're just a poor man like most of us that fly <laughs> aircraft. Yeah. And that's a result of flying aircraft. Do you own a boat? Because that's also another reason to become poor. Um, have you no, heard no. about the rich millionaire that owns a plane? That's it's right. a quick way to become poor. Yeah, um, exactly anyway, right. I'll show you a plane shortly, actually, that'll make you poor very quickly. <laughs> in fact, yeah, I couldn't even insure the thing, let alone put the fuel in it or anything like that. True. So what, um, why the shift from, huh, pardon the pun, <laughs> from GA and the RAOs? I think what led me to this was I went for a flight with a friend and it is the most fun flying I've ever had, any aircraft, and I think it's the closest you can get to being a bird. That's why I like it, low okay. and slow. So I've been um, thinking this through and I've had a few people say to me, you know, they see my trike or they find out what a microlight is and they go, you're not getting me a mat thing. <laughs> yep. And I go, well, hold on a minute. You yep. don't know anything about this. You're so can I use the word ignorant or just naive about Absolutely. what this is capable of? Yeah. The safety. Do you Very think, safe. do you really think, I'll show you a picture shortly, there's a, I think it's, what's that, a Saratoga? Uh, Sonata. Sonata. Cicada. 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 So there's an um, uh, example of a, um, my arm's it's getting tired. French build, I think. Okay, hmm. but there's an uh, example of a GA aircraft behind us. Um, and they've got a beautiful airframe and a beautiful aluminium skin. How do you think that's going to work when you crash? <laughs> Is yeah. it going to protect you? Okay, yeah, it's going to keep you warm and it's going to keep you fuzzy and it's going to keep you happy while you're flying in the zero degree temperatures of 15,000 feet or whatever it is, and you'll get there faster. But you're driving a car in the sky. It's pretty yeah, boring. Right. It's not flying. Yep. And the thing I think people don't realise is that when you land a microlight, you can land them at 35 knots, yep. 70 kilometres an hour. That, you would land probably mm. 60 knots. Twice at least. Double the yeah, speed right. at least. Jabiru, same. Um, Cessna, same. The reason is you can't slow them down that's or they stall. Mm. And stalling means you're not flying anymore. That means you're falling out of the sky. So you can't stall them to land. It yep. doesn't work. If you're over trees, you're going in at 100 plus kilometres an hour, easy, and that's going to hurt. Yeah, absolutely. A microlight, you've got a better chance. A shorter landing roll as well. Absolutely. So you can shorter pick a smaller off, field. Yeah. So the safety element of microlights. Come on, people. Get in a microlight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just you've go got to try. Experience it. I mean, okay. More fun than a parachute. More fun than a paraglider. 
um, the sport's underrated and there's not enough of us flying and you need to just find a friend with a microlight. I'm here in Maryborough. If you're ever passing through, you look me up. Uh, and um, Or Matt, now you're from up near... Yeah, Marion, just west of Mackay. Okay, near hmm. Mackay. And you're down for a few days. And yeah, a few days to down around. And it looks like we might, I think, get in the air. We're going flying, I think. Anything else you want to add? Cheers. No, go microlighting. Excellent. Thanks. Good to have you along. And um, we've been looking for this opportunity to go flying because we thought it wasn't going to happen, but I think we might be able to manage it. All right, catch you next time. Cheers. And thanks for watching. Bye for now. Excellent. Mirror Road Traffic, track 6340 enters, lines out, rolls, runway 12. Mirror Road Traffic.